Support for Roundup is provided by Plum. Plum believes that when people flourish, business thrives. With its universal design, this powerful talent assessment tool uses science-backed insights to measure and match human potential to job needs, enhancing talent decisions across the employee journey from hire to retire. With unmatched scalability, Plum allows organisations to quantify job fit, improve quality of hire, identify leadership potential and provides personalised career help while empowering you to create high-performing teams from one simple-to-use platform. To learn more, visit their website at plum.io. That's plum.io. There's been more of scientific discovery, more of technical advancement and material progress in your lifetime and mine than in all the ages of history. Hi there, welcome to the April Roundup episode of Recruiting Future with me, Matt Alder. If you've not listened to Roundup before, it's a short review of the episodes that I've published in the last month to make sure that you don't miss out on the valuable insights my guests are sharing. A huge thank you to Plum.io for their support of Roundup. I think the approach they're taking to skills-based thinking is both highly innovative and highly pragmatic. You should definitely check out their website and find out more. Before we get into the main part of Roundup, I'm very excited to tell you about something that's happening later in May. Recruiting Feature is teaming up with The Chad and Cheese Show to host two face-to-face talent acquisition meetups in Scotland. These are going to be must-attend events for anyone who lives in Scotland or can get to Scotland. On Tuesday the 21st of May, we're going to be at Revolution Cuba in Glasgow. And on Thursday the 23rd of May, we're going to be at the Three Sisters Bar in Edinburgh. You can get all the details and sign up to attend at the True Scotland website, which is truescotland.com. A huge thank you to the amazing sponsors who've made this possible. We're delighted to be partnering with Daxtra, Solutions Driven, Poetry, Willow, Ashby and Gigged.ai. So check out the True Scotland website, truescotland.com, and I really hope to see you there. So now back to the April Roundup. There were some genuinely amazing guests on the podcast over the last month, talking about some topics that really matter, including AI experimentation and regulation, Gen Z's take on the workplace, and the future of both talent acquisition and HR. April's episodes include some of the conversations I recorded at Transform and an interview that's also available to watch on video, which is something I'm going to be doing a lot more of moving forward. First up for the month, in episode 604, I spoke to Leah Borden, Vice President of Talent at staffing and consulting firm Alcu. Many employers regularly offer internships. But the role of these internships in long-term hiring strategies can be pretty tenuous. However, Alcu puts internships at the centre of its hiring strategy and proactively leverages them to build long-term pipelines of valuable talent. In the conversation, we talked about precisely how they do this and the considerable benefits and value this strategy drives. Talent acquisition is standing on the edge of a revolution with AI tools promising to make recruiting faster and more effective. But will it make hiring fairer? Recruiting and HR are already a key focus for governments as they develop legislation for AI. And employers are already at risk of breaking existing laws if they use AI tools that discriminate against protected groups of people. My guest on episode 605 was Commissioner Keith Sonderling of the EEOC. As well as talking about new and forthcoming legislation, Commissioner Sondling reinforced the fact that existing equality laws already apply to the use of AI in hiring. As well as discussing the potential risks, we also talked about the advantages that AI could bring in the quest for fairer hiring. So on to episode 606, and it's my first selection of interviews recorded at Transform back in March. The first conversation is with Danielle Farage, a renowned Gen Z futurist, educator and community builder. Danielle gave her perspective on why it's crucial to give Gen Z a voice and shared an example from one of the conference sessions where this absolutely didn't happen. 
We also discussed the current employee experience for the newest generation in the workforce and the work employers still need to put in to see things from Gen Z's perspective. My second conversation was with recruiter and creator Joel Largy. Joel talks about his journey to reaching an incredible 600,000 followers across various social media platforms. He shared his insights into how recruiters and employers should use a combination of short form video and face to face experiences to build an influential brand. It's been nearly 18 months since ChatGPT launched and sparked a lively debate about the future of talent acquisition. While it's important to consider the long-term implications, a critical part of building a strategy is embracing the potential of current technology through experimentation and skill development. Earlier in the year, I saw Andy Hedworth, Deputy Director of Talent Acquisition at HMRC, give a presentation about the way his recruiting team have embraced Gen AI over the last few months. Andy's team has gone from lunchtime AI experimentation sessions to rolling out the platform they created across their organisation. This has driven radical improvements to their hiring process, improving its quality while simultaneously saving many hours of hiring manager and recruiter time. I was delighted to speak to Andy on episode 607 and do a deeper dive into all the details and also hear his advice for TA leaders on building strategies for an AI-driven future. Economic challenges, technological innovations and changing attitudes to how and where we work are just some of the forces driving change across the whole of the people function. Episode 608 featured two more interviews that I recorded at Transform and I spoke to two of the most innovative HR executives out there when it comes to shaping the future of HR. My first guest, Donald Knight, Chief People Officer at Greenhouse, shared his insights on the current challenges for CPOs, the importance of developing curiosity and the need to eliminate the laggard approach that has categorised HR for so long. My second conversation was with John Baldino, president of Humoriso. This was the final interview I recorded at the conference, and we reflected on the event, our key learnings from it, and the future of HR in an AI-driven world. Somewhere between 15 and 20% of the population is neurodivergent. The majority have yet to receive a formal diagnosis, and a significant number of those with a diagnosis choose not to share it publicly. Over the last few years, we've seen a growing number of employers taking steps to be more neuroinclusive, which is great to see. However, there's still a long way to go when it comes to recruiting, as most hiring processes contain significant barriers for neurodivergent people. There's also a danger that the move to AI-driven recruiting may actually make things worse if neuroinclusion isn't proactively prioritised. So what steps can employers take to embed neuroinclusion in their recruiting process effectively? My guest on episode 609 was Tanya Martin, a neuroinclusive consultant who was previously head of EY's Neurodiverse Centre of Excellence in the UK and Ireland. In our conversation, Tanya discussed the shortcomings of the traditional recruiting process when it comes to neuroinclusion and how rethinking it could make recruiting better for everyone. As I said before, it's evident that we are at a critical pivot point for talent acquisition. While the debates about the potential AI revolution are sucking up most of the attention, massive shifts are happening in terms of the shelf life of skills, ongoing challenges with skills acquisition, and upskilling people for a very different future world of work. So how should employers think about skills? And how can talent acquisition gain the future focus it needs to drive organisational value? My guest on episode 610 was the brilliant Lisa Monteith, Head of Talent Acquisition and Onboarding for HSBC in the UK. In our wide-ranging conversation, we talked about the skills challenges facing organisations, rethinking jobs and work as a product, neuroinclusion, failing education systems and the importance of talent acquisition reinventing itself for the future. A huge thank you to Plum, Willow and CV Wallet for sponsoring Recruiting Future during the month of April. So onwards into May, which is jam-packed from a recording perspective. I'm currently in Amsterdam, recording at HR Technology Europe, and we also have the Scottish meetups later in the month. Don't forget to go to truescotland.com to get all the details. Make sure you don't miss out on any of these conversations by subscribing to Recruiting Future wherever you get your podcasts. If you want to check out the video versions of the interviews that I'm starting to do, you can find them on YouTube by going to mattalder.tv. Finally, I've recently published a white paper which explores 10 ways that AI will transform talent acquisition. You can download your free copy by going to mattalder.tv. 
dot me slash transform that's mattalder.me slash transform you can also find the links to the white paper to the scottish events and the youtube channel in the show notes thanks very much for listening i'll be back next time and i hope you'll join me this is my show